welcome to the Monacoism channel. At dahil ramdam na natin ang init ng summer season, we are going to do a summer glam makeup tutorial for the day. At medyo nakikpit man, hindi ka makalabas, pwede ka pa rin naman magmaganda sa loob ng bahay mo. Tulad ng ginagawa ko. <laughs> so without further ado, watch the video. I have already taken a bath and gone with my 10-step skincare routine before filming. So this skin prep gives an extra dose of moisture to help me apply makeup evenly. I am using aloe vera facial mist and aloe vera gel from Nature Republic, UV Aqua Rich Watery Essence from Biore, and Volume Up Lip Essence from Mijon. Next, I am using the Face Shop's Designing Eyebrow Pencil in number 3, which is brown. Just simply brush your eyebrows upwards, outline and shape them, fill in the shape with color, and comb through the brows again. To help smoothen my skin and blur large pores a bit, I am using Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer from LA Girl. To create a good looking, if not a perfect, makeup base, I am applying Lady Lynn Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation in number 128 Warm Nude and a bronzer stick from FS Features and Shades, Detail Cosmetics Velvet Flush and Bow with a deep cherry brown shade, and Lady Lynn's Fit Me Concealer in number 10, which is light. Then blending all of these products into my face using sponge and brushes. To help set the liquid and cream products that we have previously applied, I am using Michito's Final Powder in Creamy Glow, BYS Matte Bronzing Powder in Medium Shade, and a Peachy Blush from Detail Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. If you notice, I did not make the loose powder on my face and sweep it with a brush right away so as not to make my skin looking dry. It's scorching hot during summer and despite using mattifying products, I still want a subtle glow that they leave on my face. To lock in all of the base products we used, Spritz Lux Organics Beauty Mist by Anne Quits all over your face. Moving on to our eyes, to help keep our eye makeup in place, we will use Maybelline Super Stay Concealer as our eye primer, then blending it in with a concealer brush and a sponge. I have all of the eyeshadow palettes from Detail Cosmetics, and I chose to use their Autumn Eyeshadow Palette for this tutorial. I guess you can also use their Sunset Dream Eyeshadow Palette to recreate this look. I picked up Paisley, which is an orangey shade from the eyeshadow palette, starting on the outer edge of the eye. Sweep your brush back and forth along the crease, but in short and slow strokes until you get the shade that you wanted. Applying the same orangey shade on my lower lash line and smudge a brown shade on top of it. Let's add some Spartan Peach shade called Nisa from the Metallics Eyeshadow Palette of Detail Cosmetics, applying it on my eyelid using my pinky finger. To create a wing liner, I am using Maybelline's Line Tattoo Impact Pen in small dot and slow strokes close to your upper lash line as possible. To make my eyes look bigger, I use BYS Eye Pencil in Cream Shade, applying it on my waterline, and picked up the darkest brown shade from the Autumn Eyeshadow Palette, applying it on half or three quarters of my lower lash line. To make my eyes look awake, I am using Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara from Maybelline. I won't be using false lashes, so I curled my lashes for at least a minute each side. Applying the product from the roots of my lashes and rolling it towards the tip. Then same goes for the lower lashes. For a subtle glow, I use Vice Cosmetics Highlighter in Splendid, which has a champagne shade. I dabbed it on the inner corner of my eyes, on brow bones, down the bridge of my nose, top of my cheekbones, chin, the top of my cupid's bow, and my forehead. 
Moving on, outlining my lips with LA Girls Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Bare Shade. Then add some color using Detail Cosmetics Satin Luxe Lipstick in Deep Shade. And for a shiny finish, I use Lustrous Lip Gloss by BYS. And to make all of the products last longer, I am again spraying Anklutz Beauty Mist by Lux Organics all over my face. And we are done with the makeup tutorial. I was aiming for a catchy eye makeup look and mukhang na-achieve naman natin siya. Kung mabilis ka mag-oil up or kung oily yung skin mo, I would recommend that you use mattifying products. Pero kung sakto lang naman yung skin type mo, um, you can do a dewy makeup look. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. And if you like the video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you can please share my videos to your families, relatives, friends, and co-workers, I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next one, thank you for watching. Bye!